How's it going? It's Tommy Two, and joining us today, we've got the guys from Big Time Rush. So how are you doing this morning? We're, We're doing good. very yeah, well. Great. Yes. Just woke up, had some brisket, <clears throat> feeling excellent. All right, now to start off, why don't you share with us about what you've got planned for the summer? The summer? All right, well, um, <clears throat> we are currently on our uh, Big Time Rush summer break tour uh, with Victoria Justice. Uh, yes. We are in Houston, uh, about to do our uh, sixth uh, date. Yeah, sixth show. And it's been a ton of fun. And we have uh, a bunch more shows to go. See, I think we have like 34 more for this, uh, this tour. Yes, we're just getting started. And what type of tips do you have for people to have their best summer yet? Best summer yet. Well, if they haven't purchased it, <laughs> do the summer best summer. <laughs> That's what saying. It's going to make your summer just a little bit That's better. It adds thing. to it. It does. For sure. Know, the, if you're close to the beach, uh, the beach is always a good thing mm -hmm. to, to complete your summer. And if you're nowhere near a beach, go to the pool. Or the mountains. It's true. Right. Yeah. If you can't swim, hang out. <laughs> exactly. That's right. Get out and be active. Now, earlier this month, you released your new album, 24-7, which debuted on the charts at number four. That's really awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we're pretty stoked about it. Uh, we're really proud of this album. Okay, and to, to promote that release, you made a bunch of stops to do and did meet and greets, including one at Mall of America. That's pretty cool how you guys have always shown love to your fictional hometown. How do we feel about our fictional hometown? Well, we always get a really great crowd in, in Minnesota, um, and uh, but we've played there four or five times already, and we're going back again this summer, so it's going to be... Um, Great, as always, and uh, they're very supportive there. They almost treat us like as if it is our real home. True. It's kind of like our adopted family <laughs> over there. It's like, uh... Don't you know. Okay, and just last weekend, you kicked off your tour. Were you guys happy with how the night went? Oh, <clears throat> yes. Um, actually, we had our, our very first show in Gibson, um, and that's a legendary <clears throat> place, and they're actually tearing it down um, not too long from now, so we got a chance to play there before they, before they do that. And, uh, yeah, all of our families came out, and we had a, a great time, so... Very it's pretty awesome to launch the tour in our hometown. Right. And in fact, if you guys go to nick.com slash chef, you can enter for a chance to win us visiting your hometown and uh, playing a little show, maybe. Which, by the way, that first show doesn't always go so well because it's the first show, but that was really <laughs> great for us. <laughs> right. Yeah, it was a good really, first show. Right? We were happy about it. We were like, as long as the first show goes well, we'll be fine. And it did. It was a smashing success. And of course, every show after that, you guys just tweak it a little and make it even better. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, we had a, a crazy mishap uh, the week before the show opened, and um, our trampolines, none of them ever came in. So we kind of had to tweak the show uh, right before, and um, we're actually tweaking as we're going along <laughs> because the trampolines are starting to come in little by little. So as they're coming in, we're adding some more things, and um, you know what? It's just going to get better and better, and by show 40, uh, hopefully it's perfect. And just another reason to check out as many shows as you can, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sounds really funny. Right. By show 40, hopefully it'll be perfect. It's been fun seeing the clips from uh, the tour pop up online. You've got some amazing production elements. Has it been fun? With every tour, you guys keep raising the bar? We've actually kind of re-envisioned the tour. If you guys haven't seen this concert yet, this tour, it's entirely different. We have a DJ instead of a band. We're incorporating now new music from our third album, of course now previous albums, and really just a whole new concept. So we've kind of put the focus back <clears throat> on us. It's really integrated with the crowd participation, and we just have a ton of fun out there. And I know we're all very proud of what <clears throat> we put together, and I would argue this is our best tour yet. And, and not only that, but the last tour, um, the stage had so much going on. There was a lot to look at that distracted from us moving around. And, and I think we decided to strip it down and kind of make more of a, uh, you know, expansive stage that was more minimalistic, though. And yeah. to have it kind of reflect, uh, you know, this last album, 24-7. And, uh, and I, think it, I think we did that. All right, guys. Thanks so much for checking in with us today. And we'll be looking forward to seeing your show this summer. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.